The Billings School Board with a late night as it decides whether to ban two books from school libraries. Those books depict gay sex, and while some say they provide a voice for LGBTQ students, others argue that they are obscene. Q2's Mitch Leggy has been following the meeting and has more. After protests from one Billings parent calling two high school library books pornographic and not appropriate for high school readers, the Billings School Board opted to unanimously keep the two books on library shelves. The novel Lawn Boy by Jonathan Evson describes a sexual encounter between two fourth grade boys. And the second work is called Gender Queer, a memoir by Maya Kobabe, which is a collection of narrative drawings known as a graphic novel. Gender Queer shows drawings of two adults engaging in oral sex. The school board heard the complete context in which the sexual acts of appear in the coming of age stories, along with the high constitutional standard of students' right to information. Here's the school's attorney quoting from a 1987 Supreme Court ruling. Quote, our, pres our uh, presidents have focused not only on the role of the First Amendment in fostering individual self-expression, but also on the role of, of free speech, um, affording the, the public access to discussion, debate, and dissemination of information and ideas. The books were bought in 2020 and were available at West High School and the Career Center, which serves students ranging in age from 14 to 18. Representatives from 406 Pride, a Billings LGBTQ resource center, supported keeping the books the because they give voice the to LGBTQ said I wouldn't have a problem students. With and it's important for people, whether they are allies or whether they are part of the community or not, to be aware of these perspectives. It could help someone who's in a rough place or it could just help someone offer another perspective that's not like their own. The crux of the issue was the drawn images of sex acts in Gender Queer, with some considering the drawings too pornographic for a school setting. And again, I'd just like to go back to the um, selection criteria and remind folks that, you know, selection of a work does not constitute agreement with its content, and that materials selected should be considered for the impact of each work as a whole and not in part. So I think by following those guidelines that are already accepted stand in policy, um, it guides us uh, to the decision we're about to make tonight. So the Billings School District's library book policy generally puts the responsibility on parents for what their school kids read. Reporting in Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News.